Hi, I'm Dan Hoff, CEO of Honey Stick, and today I'm going to talk to you about our disposable dab pen called the Honey Stick Rip and Ditch. This product is one of the only products that is disposable. So disposable being that once you're done using it and the battery runs out, that you just throw it away. It's a really convenient item. Most people like to use this item when they're traveling because you don't, you know, you don't have to carry your expensive vape unit, worry about getting any type of residues or product, don't have to use, use it for a weekend and throw it away. One of our largest customers for this are dispensaries in high tourist areas for that reason. It's really convenient also if you're on the go. Now, it's a push button unit. Most of the other disposable wax pens, they're auto draw, so they don't heat up as quickly. And ours is one of the only ones that has a locking feature, so it won't start going off in your pocket that could possibly waste your concentrates. So when you get your unit, make sure that it's off. Your unit will actually come with a magnet dab tool that will attach to it, which is good for transport purposes. You'll start off by just popping it out of the perforated edges. The, the mouthpiece is a magnet mouthpiece. So all you do is you simply pull that out. Then what you would do is you would take your concentrates, use your provided dab tool, and very gently place the concentrates along the edge of the ceramic bowl. What powers this unit is a ceramic bowl and a quartz heater. So it's actually got very high tech, flavorful components that heat up very quickly. So it does, even though it's a disposable unit, it does not sacrifice on quality. So fill it up. Generally, one of, the, one of the questions that our customer service reps get a lot is, well, how much can I put into it? I generally tell people is only fill it up to the outside edges of the white ceramic bowl, which is about two to three scoops with the tool that is provided from the kit. Then once you have your concentrates in there, simply take the magnetic mouthpiece and let it pop back into place. Then you're going to push the button five times to unlock the unit. You're gonna see it flash, indicating that it's on. So you can see there's also an LED indicator, a leaf indicator on the uh, bottom of the battery. So what you would do is you would push and hold and it's gonna take about a second or two for the unit to heat up. So usually I would say push and hold count one or two Mississippi and then start your inhale. What you'll notice is that the hole is cut off center, similar to like a black and mild tip. So make sure that when you're drawing on it, your lips don't cover the air hole because some people might mistake the unit for being clogged. Push and hold and when you're not using the unit, simply click the button five more times to turn it off. And you gotta click it repeatedly, you know, within a two second interval. And now, as you can see, the unit can be transported. This unit should last you about 200 rips. A lot of people like to say puffs, but we all know that a rip actually lasts a lot longer. So rip meaning a five second or more inhale off of the unit. And once the unit starts feeling like it's not, per not performing or heating up as quickly, or when you push it, you get multiple blinks, that means that you are, have approached your 200 rip limit on the unit and it's time for you to pick up a new one. So to pick up this product or several other cool items, visit our website vapehoneystick.com and use my special promo code HONEY420 for 20% off. Thanks for tuning in today and vape responsibly.